Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ishmael from Conjured Realm. Okay, so in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about your desires. Specifically talking about how you should be viewing your desires when you are manifesting. I know people, I think I made a video about this a couple months back, but this is just a refresher. Now, when we are manifesting something, if you read the title, I do believe that when you have something, you should not be wanting it. When you want something, obviously you can have a desire to have something and that's completely fine. There's no issue there. When you are manifesting anything, you should perceive your desires as something that you already have. In essence, we aim to drop the neediness or the need for the thing that we are wanting to manifest. Because when we need something and we when we want it so badly that we just cannot think of anything else, are implying to the subconscious that we want to keep not having it, if that makes sense. Because your focus and attention is going to needing something, wanting something so badly that it's causing you to have all this waveringness and doubtfulness that now your subconscious is understanding that, okay, you keep focusing on the fact that you don't have it, so let's keep manifesting you not having it. I want you to treat your desires as something you already have. You should not be wanting something you already have. You should view all your manifestations as things that have already happened. This is how you get your manifestations much, much quicker. And this is embodying the state of the wish fulfilled, essentially. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not bad to want the things that you want. Obviously, that's why we're doing all these manifestation techniques or this process to get our desires. But just make sure you're not needing your desire. You're not being impatient or urgent to have this thing because that is not the way we deliberately manifest things into our reality. Conscious creators manifest by already seeing the manifestation as something that has already happened, as something that already passed. Therefore, your feelings lie neutral or better. You don't have any heightened sense of emotion for something that you already have. You don't have any heightened sense of emotion, for example, for that computer or laptop that you have. Why? Because you literally have it. You just emulate the same feelings or no feelings at all, but with that type of mentality to any manifestation. I hear a lot of people getting confused with dropping the desire. It's not dropping the desire as in you don't want it anymore. It's dropping the neediness for that specific desire. If I'm trying to manifest $10,000, I should put myself in the state of the version of me that has those $10,000. What am I thinking on a daily basis? How am I acting on a daily basis? and I just emulate that version of myself until it happens. It is literally this simple. Ignore your 3D, it does not matter. Your 3D does not matter. Once you decide for a result in your mind, it has no choice but to happen once you consistently keep telling yourself that same favorable story over and over again. This is literally what law of assumption is. And you just stay there and you just stay there until it happens. A lot of you just keep getting confused by this and it is a little tricky to understand at first but after you do get it there's there's honestly literally nothing you cannot manifest now i hope that clarified a lot of your questions if you guys have any other questions please leave them down below i'll try to answer them as soon as possible also sorry for not uploading for a while i was catching up with all my black friday emails and if you're expecting an email from me, please check your inbox as I have officially caught up with everyone. So no one should be waiting on emails for me. It was like 120 of you guys and I am caught up now. So everyone should have their responses back. But if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching, please email me at conjuredrealm at gmail.com. I have open availability now. Again, um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon down below so you're notified every time I post a new video. Alright guys, happy manifesting.